Hey there, welcome to Gonza Gardens. My name is Casey. We recently found a big mistake with one of our fruit trees in the garden. So in this video, we're gonna show you what happened and how you can prevent it from happening in your garden. Check it out. Just a quick little walkthrough on what's happening with some of our fruit trees right now. This is our orange sherbet mango. Over here, this is Pickering. This is Floragon. This tree is Popuculi or Lemon Meringue. We removed a lot of its fruit. This tree right here, this is Fruit Punch. And now we'll go see the mistake. Okay, so we're going back in the back corner of the garden and that's going to be one of the mistakes, but not the prime mistake. And I'm going to show you what we're talking about. So this mango tree behind the lemon, behind the lemongrass, this was planted about a year ago and it's orange essence. So we have this fence behind that fence. You can see the neighbors. So we put this little makeshift fence right here. And from the heavy winds that have been happening, this panel fell on the tree and it snapped a branch off. Well, we didn't think anything of it, but wait until you see the branch. So on the other side of the mango tree, and this is where that limb fell and it broke a branch down here. But when I looked at the branch that fell off, this was actually the graft site. This was the, the graft wood that was on the tree. So this is what orange essence is. You can see it just snapped right off. We went back and looked at one of the videos whenever we got this delivered and we I'll show it to you right here. You can see that this part was the top of the tree and there was a tiny little sucker underneath of it. We'll flash forward a year later. This is the exact same graft wood that was on top of the tree and this was that tiny little sucker. You want to make sure whenever you have fruit trees, especially grafted fruit trees, that all you remove all suckers on the plant. So now we lost orange essence. So as you saw, all the other trees, mango trees had fruit and they flowered and this one didn't. And it's just kind of been hanging out. That's because this is the root stock. This is not the orange essence. So that's the mistake. So mistake number one we would learn from here is always make sure that you remove all suckers so that all of the growth goes to the piece of the tree that you want, not that. Another mistake that we would say it's not really a mistake. As you see, we're in the back of the food forest and we're behind a hot tub all the way in the back corner. So we don't really ever come and look at this tree to inspect it. So plant your trees in an area that you're gonna visit it often. So this, we don't ever come back here. That's why it got away from us. The second mistake is that you'll see that there's lemongrass in front of it, which is a huge bush. We put it here to protect it from the cold, but that blocked our view from it so we couldn't see that it wasn't growing out of the graft site. We just wanted to make sure that when we got orange essence, it was a late season mango. So whenever you're planting your mangoes, you wanna get different seasons so you don't harvest them all at the same time. It sure is unfortunate that we lost that mango variety orange essence from the garden, but the silver lining is mango season 2024 is almost upon us. So when we try some new amazing varieties, because there's so many, we'll have an opportunity to bring another one into the garden by top working that seedling. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure that you stay diligent walking around the garden, looking for any suckers growing up so you don't have the mistake that we had. You also want to make sure that you stay diligent with the garden pests. As you saw in that first mango tree, the orange sherbet, it's getting annihilated by those Sri Lankan weevils. Here's a video on how I maintain the population of those weevils. Good luck in the garden. See you in the next one.